Well, I have just performed ronching uh, to measure the radius of curvature, and I'm going to uh, set up everything for interferometry. So, first thing first is to remove the ronchi screen and put it into its envelope. Now we switch the light off. We open the clamps and install the interferometer itself. And the laser. So now it's in uh, interferometry configuration. Perfect. Second thing, we have to install the camera that goes here. Um, I have to remove the lid, of course. There. And third, I have to move the setup back to the place where I know the fringes are. I do that by hand and ha I have to move until this number over here is on zero. There is where the fringes are. There. There. Okay. Now I reposition the mirror in the right position in its cell. It's a six point cell because I'm testing on a 30 degree angle. So it reads a, it needs a real um, mir a telescope cell. And I bang it lightly to remove any tensions. And I very carefully put the whole thing at the right angle there. Okay, now I place a little screen on the interferometer here to check where the returning um, beam is and it's here, it's not even close. So I move the mirror stand like this like this and it moves the beam there now I move the other axis like that that produces now can you see now it's both beams are centered there. There should be uh, fringes. Let's check. This is the camera light view and there are no fringes yet so we move the controls a little bit until we find the fringes. Uh, let's see, not here, not here. Where are they? There is something over there. Uh, I think I found them. 
there bullseye now we find a nice spot there I don't want to be so out uh, so into the there can you see them so I'm going to move a little bit away okay now I am inside the radius of curvature I move a little bit back I am outside the radius of curvature inside outside so I want to be consistently inside or outside so that the DFTF doesn't um, screw now how I, I am this is okay this is clearly inside like half a millimeter inside um, I move a little bit to the side I look for nice even fringes maybe I have to move a little bit farther inside oh, too far okay but this is the this is the way you find the spot there they are almost straight there should be perfect right there don't you think so now I take a bunch of pictures there there this is not these are not real interferograms, I'm just showing you. Okay, now we switch the lights on again. I'm back to the mirror. I rotate it. there I bang lightly the stand to remove any tensions very very carefully I lower it again there once again I put the little screen You see? I have to adjust the mirror again. I do it with the, with these knobs. I adjust the mirror the stand there. there and there so it's now at 45 degrees back to the live view screen um, you can see a thing So, did we lose all the fringes? Where are they? Oh, I have to remove the little piece of paper. And are there fringes? Oh. No, they are not. Oh, there they are. Nice fringes. I will use these ones. Mm -mm. 
there. Those seem okay. Um, to look for the fringes, I move. Uh, my testing stand has three controls. This moves the tester up and down. This move it uh, forward and backwards, and this one moves it sideways. I can know exactly uh, where I am moving everything because I have a, a digital ruler. It supposedly has a micrometer precision in, in all axes. You see? Nice and convenient. So I can look for fringes in a very, very, very precise way. You see? No fringes there. Some fringes. Do you see them? So this is how I, how I perform the tests. Then I rotate again and go back to the FTF. So what did you think?